Hi, I'm Sean Gannon, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about absolute extrema. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, y equals an x to the fourth power minus 2x squared minus 3, and we want to find all points of absolute minimum and maxima on our given interval from 0 to infinity, and notice the parentheses there. First step, I want to find my derivative. So we find f prime of x here, let's call it. And we'll use our power rule. 4 comes down, x to the third power now, minus 2 times 2 is a 4, x, we'll subtract 1 as 1 power, and the derivative of negative 3, since the constant, is just 0. Now, I want to set my derivative equal to 0 to find the critical values. So 4x to the third minus 4x equals 0. And now we're solving. Let's pull out an x here, and we have an x times a 4x squared minus 4 equals 0. Set both parts equal to 0, x equals 0, and 4x squared minus 4 is now equal to 0. Solving here, I add a 4 to both sides, 4x squared equals a 4, divide both sides by 4, and x squared equals a positive 1. Square root both sides, and well, we got plus or minus square root of 1, which is just 1, so x equals a plus or minus 1. Okay. So now we have to look which one, which values are within our interval here. Well, 0 is actually not in our interval. Remember, it's not included with that plenty, so we don't need to worry about that. Negative 1 is outside of the interval as well, so we don't worry about that, but positive 1 is within our interval. Okay, so we're going to use that value here. So I like to make this kind of like a like a first derivative test here, I have a 1 here, 0, and notice nothing to the left of it. And I know I'm not going to include 1. And let's go see what's going on. I pick a value between 0 and 1, I picked 0.5, and f prime of 0 0.5, plug into my derivative, and I get a negative 1.5. I just care that it's negative, and so we are decreasing here. Okay? I picked a value that was larger than 1, and I picked 2, so f prime of 2 within the interval, and then that's a 24, and again, plug in the derivative here, uh, but it's positive, so we're increasing. So our function is decreasing, then increasing at 1, we have a relative minimum, or <laughs> relative minimum there. I wrote maximum on paper. That would be incorrect. And so, we're decreasing there to increasing, all right. Now, this endpoint we can't actually uh, have as a value, as an absolute value, because you can't, or absolute maximum or minimum, because it doesn't really equal that. So I just need to check this f of one here. F of one at that value here is a negative, negative four, and we know that's actually the absolute max or absolute minimum, because the left of it we're decreasing down to it, and afterwards we're increasing up to positive infinity. And so that is our absolute minimum. So our absolute minimum here is a 1 comma negative 4. And as far as absolute maxima, we actually don't have one because it's going up to positive infinity forever. We can't really hit that value or state it. So we have no absolute max. So again, my final answer here is absolute minimum of 1 comma negative 4. And absolute maximum, well, we don't have any there. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute math, minute math, when you need help you use minute math.